Hey everyone, welcome back to the Sunny Day Review. I'm Brian. I'm Jillian. Jillian, how you doing? I am great. I am so excited to talk about these episodes. Uh, we are covering Five by Five and Sanctuary, and they both have faith in them, and I am so excited. Yes, me too. I uh, <laughs> love these episodes. Um, so this is the second half of the crossover with Buffy that we covered. Um, what I'll probably do is I'll have this episode normally, and then maybe um middle of the next week i'll do like a where i put the episodes just together into one long episode in case you want to listen to all of the faith crossover in one episode but that won't affect scheduling it won't replace any of the episodes it's just an extra thing that you don't have to listen to if you don't want to so with that being said let's get into five by five season one episode 18 Originally aired April 25th, 2000, written by Jim Koof and directed by James A. Cotner. So we've reached the second part of the Faith Crossover event started in Buffy. We start with a white guy doing a just terrible accent. Um, the things in these series uh, have not aged great. Um... He comes upon what he thinks are his friends burning something foul in a trash can. Turns out it is his friends being burned in the trash can. Um, which, is, which is great. Yeah, no, no, no. not great. No. Not great. Um, so his friends have been killed and are being burned by demons who give chase. Um, he fires the demons but misses. Wesley and Angel come to the rescue, uh, riding down the demons and cutting their heads off. There's a fun scene where he cuts one of the demons' heads off and it trips the other one. Um, at a bus station, we see a familiar pair of boots get off a bus. It's Faith, of course. Yay! <laughs> a sketchy-looking dude tries to hit on her. Uh, she pretends she's helpless and cold, and he goes to take off his jacket. As he does, she beats him up. Knocking out, knocking him out and taking his jacket, his money, and the keys to his place. From how much she beat him up, it's pretty clear that that guy's not going to be going home anytime soon. No. It's like three, like, at, at least three just completely brutal punches. Yeah. It's um, unfortunate, though, because she stole his wallet and mm-hmm. uh, probably had his health insurance card in it. Probably. <laughs> the guy. He has oh, no man. identification, no health mm-hmm. insurance card. Not good. She's going to be a John Doe in the emergency room. Yep. Uh, we flash back to Romania in the 1800s. Darla has Angel blindfolded, and it's his birthday. She leads him to a girl tied up before a fire. This girl is a gypsy. So. Um, Angel starts by biting her thigh, uh, which is a weird scene. Um, yeah. Angel is interrogating the victim from the night before, back in present day. Um, Cordelia complains to Wesley that the guy's not going to testify or change. In general, guys don't change unless they are cursed by gypsies. (laughs) (laughs) Um, She has a funny line where she's like, you scratch the surface on a guy, it's just more surface. Um, it's unfortunate that she has that view on men, but for I mean, real, it's just the guy she's been with, I guess. Um, Xander. Xander. <laughs> Maybe not Xander, but she didn't stay with him that long, and uh, also Xander cheated on her with Willow, so she has every right to hate yeah, Xander. <laughs> they were okay by the end, though. Yeah, they were okay, but yeah, still. Um. Faith, uh, so, elsewhere, Faith is partying at a nightclub. She gets in between a girl and a guy who are dancing. This angers the girl as that guy is her boyfriend. The guy does not uh, act like that's the case at all. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Faith ends up elbowing the girl in the face when she complains. The boyfriend goes to punch Faith. She tosses him aside into other people, which starts a brawl. And she keeps dancing through it. Whenever someone tries to punch her, she just easily defends herself. And it's just, yeah. Um, in very, court. Uh, very Sorry. safe way of, of getting through that. Mm-hmm. It's like, just uh, let, the, let the chaos ensue all around me. I'm just going to keep dancing. Yep. 
Uh, in court, Wolfram and Hart lawyers are arguing that the case against their client be thrown out due to a witness not showing up. But Angel brings the guy from earlier in who testifies, and the Wolfram and Hart lawyers lose the case. Uh-huh. Which is great. <laughs> Uh, at the office, Lee, one of the lawyers, tells Lindsay, um, the other lawyer, that he has what they need to take care of Angel. The idea is to get in touch with Faith um, and send her after Angel, which not a terrible plan, considering Faith has already almost killed Angel. And Faith uh, is a vampire slayer. <laughs> and Faith is a vampire slayer. <laughs> They're like, huh, we have this uh, this vampire problem. Mm-hmm. And a vampire slayer just arrived in town. Right. <laughs> this seems convenient. It does. <laughs> uh, back at Angel Investigations, uh, the trio celebrate their victory as much as, you know, they can. Cordy says about Angel, you can tell when he's happy. His scowl is less scowly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Lila makes uh, contact with Fate. Uh, isn't going great because Faith is uh, understandably freaked out by the fact that Lila knows her name without yeah. her telling it. Um, Lila is like starts to try to tell her about it. She's like, I'm Lila. I like green and I like limos. And a limo pulls up behind Kate. Um, Lee opens the door and tells Kate, uh, Faith to get in. Um, back, back in the flashback now, Angel has been cursed for killing that gypsy. Um, Angel is having a breakdown about all the evil he's done and the people he's killed. Darla is very uncomfortable with this new defanged version of Angel. Um, she realizes that he has a soul and calls him disgusting. She breaks a chair and is ready to kill him. Angel says, Darla, I'm like you. Darla says, you're not like anything. Get out. That's a good point. It's not many vampires with souls running about. No, no, not really. Um, in the present, Lindsay is offering the Wolfram and Hart services in exchange for her killing Angel. So that is to say that they can probably get Faith off for killing the mayor's uh, assistant. Um, Lee's trying to act tough, but tough with Faith uh, about not wanting her to make him look bad. So she slams his face repeatedly into a table, (laughs) asking how he looks now. (laughs) It's a very faith way of handling things. And as they're doing it, Lila like calls uh, one of the assistants and is like, yeah, you should probably make dinner for three instead of four. <laughs> oh, man. Because well, it's, it's kind of interesting because they're not all together doing anything different than the mayor did when the mayor um, was kind of using faith as his lackey at the end of last season. Um, I think that it's one, it's their approach and two, it's kind of the journey that, um, Faith went on when she and Buffy did the body swap thing over on the crossover episodes over there. Um, Faith is now kind of in this, this weird kind of headspace that we'll get into kind of later in this episode and in the next episode. But um, it's it's kind of interesting seeing kind of the Wolfram and Hart lawyers trying to buy her. Right. And knowing that she kind of fell for it with the mayor, but mm. the mayor had a very different tactic about it. Yeah. Well, he's like, they're just offering her currency and like money where he was offering like the social currency of a close relationship. <laughs> However messed up it was. You know. And also, I don't think he ever gave her, like, straight out orders. Or, like, right. he, he almost... It was more of a team dynamic. Yeah, and, like, yeah. he phrased it in a way to, like, make it sound fun to her, almost. Mm-hmm. Like, there was definitely a, a layer of mental manipulation there. Yeah. Where the Wolfram and Hart lawyers are like, well, you kind of work with the mayor, so, I mean, you're all very evil, so why don't you right. do this for us? <laughs> Oh, man. Um, So Cordelia, Wesley, and Angel are prepping to meet a client. Cordelia reveals that this client is a divorce case, but is going to pay a lot of money. Uh, Wesley and Angel are uncomfortable with that. She also suggests, like, speaking of money, one of us should probably take out a small business loan. Uh, 
<laughs> While she's explaining this, Faith walks up behind Angel, lines up a shot with a crossbow, and shoots. Angel whips around and catches it. And Faith is like, whoa, that was so cool. This is going to be fun. She <laughs> runs off. <laughs> Such a cool, like, hi, guys, I'm in town. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So they call Giles to ask about Faith uh, and what's happening. Wesley's pretty miffed that Giles uh, didn't tell him. But Angel's like, you know, he's worried about Buffy. Uh, he didn't know that Faith was going to come after me. So shouldn't really be worried that his, you know, mind was elsewhere about this. Um, Angel wants... Cordelia and Wesley to hide because he doesn't want to give easy targets for Faith to take out. Uh, Wesley doesn't want um, Faith and Angel killing each other. He wants to help Faith. Angel turns that around, saying that last year he had a chance to save her, but Wesley and the Watcher Council, the Watchers Council, screwed that out. Cordy, uh, and she's like, "Yeah, last year some British guy screwed that up," and Cordelia's like. Angel, it's not Wesley's fault that some British guy ruined. Oh, wait, that was you pointing toward Wesley. <laughs> and she's like, go on. <laughs> well, because, I mean, it's a callback to the fact that, like, the Scoobies had a plan. They, they, like, Faith was in, like, denial about killing the mayor's right hand man and all that stuff. And, like, they had a plan. And then Wesley just kind of called the Watchers Council and screwed everything up. Yeah, I mean, so, I think they could have helped Faith through it. Like, yeah, at that point, Faith was not irredeemable. Right. You know, um, at at this point, she's kind of with everything that she did with the mayor when she was working with him. She's not irredeemable, but she's definitely closer to it than she was before when they tried to actually like nip it in the bud. Yeah, um, she's, she's well down the dark side. Yeah. yeah, she's, I mean, she's killed a lot more. I mean, I don't think she killed any other people. She killed other demons, but, like, it's it's not great. So I don't think that Wesley has a whole lot of a foot to stand on here. It's like, Wesley, you tried? Why don't you let somebody else go? <laughs> right. Um, later, Angel's alone in his office. Faith pays him a visit. She tosses him a gun to even the odds, and he just immediately goes to shoot her in the leg. Um, but it turns out that it's just a blank. He tosses the gun back to Faith. Faith tries to bait him into making things more interesting, um, and then she shoots him with a real bullet and then chops out the window. So Faith doesn't want to just kill angel she wants this to be more of a game and yeah. for him to be coming as hard as she's coming at him she likes to play with her food a little bit yeah um angel goes into wolfram and Hart. he gets uh sopped by a guy who thinks he recognizes angel there's like a very funny like an angel trying to like play it off like he is that guy but also just being wrong about everything yep this is like, listen, man, we got to get this deal done before the stock goes in the toilet. Uh, skyrockets. Anyways, it's great <laughs> seeing you. He's <laughs> like, yeah, it's skyrockets, of course. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, <laughs> so, um, Angel snoops around Lindsay's office. Lindsay enters and smiles, seeing Angel there. Lindsay dodges Angel's questions about faith. And tells him that the law firm has mystical barriers that let them know when a vampire is on the premises. Um, and he's like, it's good to know that they work. And then a security guard goes to try to take Angel out, but Angel just throws him across the room. Uh, Lindsay says that uh, there's going to be more coming, so if you don't want to die, you should probably leave. Um, Cordelia and Wesley go to Cordelia's apartment. Dennis tries to stop them from entering. Cordelia chalks it up to him being jealous, but in reality, it's because Faith is there. Um, I was just like, Dennis, it's nothing to worry about. How would freeze over before I slept with him? <laughs> oh, man. But it's like, when are they going to learn that Dennis is smart and to stop ignoring him when he tries to protect them? Right. Because <laughs> like, he tried to do the same thing in uh, Expecting, where he was like, mm -hmm. you know, Cordy was getting seduced by like the 
Parker 2.0. Yeah. Um, and, right. like, uh, what, Dennis kept messing with the lights and turning on different music to, mm-hmm. like, kind of ruin the mood and stuff like that. And it's like, when are they going to listen to per- the freaking Dennis? <laughs> oh, man. So, um, with Faith there, Faith wants to get Angel into the game and figures that harming them is a good way to accomplish that. Wesley tries to interject, but we get a shut up, Wesley, which is, of course, a Star Trek reference. <laughs> um, she even says it like Patrick Stewart. Um, he tries to reason with her, bring her back to the light, uh, but Faith elbows Cordelia in the face, knocking her out, and Wesley punches Faith. Faith is impressed with his gusto, but just kicks him across the room all the same. She's like, all right, Wesley, <laughs> like fighting back, and then just kicks him. Um, in a flashback, a hungry angel attacks a group, beating up the men and taking a woman into an alley. He bites her, and then we go back to the present day, uh, where Angel finds Cordelia, and she tells him that Faith attacked, and they realize that she took Wesley. Um, Faith is torturing Wesley. He's seemingly trying to reason with her, but ends up calling her a piece of shit. It's not a great uh, way to go. <laughs> no. Uh, she says he shouldn't. Uh, she says he should talk. Um, this leads to her getting a piece of glass to cut him. Uh, Angel and Cordelia realize that she's probably staying at the guy's house who she stole fr- the keys and wallet from at the beginning of the episode. Faith asks Wesley um, if he thinks that it was fate that they would be in this position if things would have been different had she had Giles as watcher and Buffy had him. She somewhat blames him for how she turned out. She threatens to burn him with a lighter and aerosol can. Uh, before before she can do that, Angel breaks down the door. We go back to the flashback from earlier. Angel couldn't go through with killing the girl because of his soul, uh, showing that he has changed, you know, because of the curse. Mm-hmm. Faith and Angel have a showdown. She tells him that he's worth about 15000 dusted, which he takes offense to. Uh <laughs> I looked it up. That's about $23,000 in today's money. So if you want to, you know, put that. Still pretty cheap. I think that's a bargain for Wolfram and Hart to get such a big problem. Yeah. Taken care of. Yeah. Um, the fight eventually falling out of a window into an alley. It starts raining. Very dramatic. Um, Faith screams that she's evil and wants him to fight back. Eventually Angel does. But he tells her he's not going to kill her. Wesley frees himself and grabs a knife and runs down to the alley. Um, Faith has a breakdown as um, Angel's refusing to kill her. She seems to have wanted him to win and to kill her and end everything that's happening. She pleads with him to kill her. She collapses and he holds her. Um, Wesley drops the knife as Faith cries. And that is the end of this episode, 5x5. Jill, what did you think? Oh God, I love this. I I don't I don't love what Faith does to Wesley, but it's just like the writers know what they're doing with this episode. Um, I I love seeing even when she's evil. I love seeing the dynamic between Faith and Wesley, and Faith and Cordy, and Faith hmm. and Angel. And I mean, yeah, they did a fantastic think- job with these episodes. Also, I think it's very interesting that like Faith in a way is trying to like, you know, take take the money from Wolfram and mm. Hart to Dust Angel, but really what she's looking for, which harkens back to um, the episodes on on Buffy, mm. the beginning part of this crossover special. Um, Faith sees herself as evil. She sees herself as irredeemable and she was basically trying to do like suicide by cop with Angel. Mm. Um, she wanted Angel to kill her because um, she just hates herself at this point. Mm-hmm. Um, she she feels bad about everything that went down with the mayor. She feels bad about betraying all of her friends. Um, she feels bad about, you know, everything that went down in the first part of this crossover, crossover episodes. Um mm-hmm. And she's had this kind of interesting connection with Angel because right. at one point um, 
he tried to help her and that's when the watchers council came in and took her away and tried to do their own thing but he hmm. was getting through to her yeah so angel kind of being like her evil aa sponsor kind of <laughs> in a way right? yeah um it makes sense that she would go to angel to try to have him kill her yeah so I think we ranked them both like collectively of Buffy, so I think we should probably do the same thing for this. So no rating on this particular episode yet. <laughs> we'll rate the two-parter. Yeah. So Sanctuary, Season 1, Episode 19, originally aired May 2nd, 2000, written by Tim Miner and uh, Joss Whedon himself. So you know it's going to be good. Uh, directed <laughs> by Michael Lang. We open with Angel and Faith riding his elevator down to his basement. Um, he's allowing her to stay after the events of 5x5. Five five. He tucks her into bed, and we have a quick, quick glimpse of her thoughts where she punches him in the face with the butt end of a knife. Um, but that's not what really happens, of course. Wesley arrives at work and sees uh, Cordelia's face and calls Faith a bitch. <laughs> She's like, bitch? <laughs> She's like, what? He's like, not you? <laughs> She makes sure she makes sure that he knows that she doesn't blame him for what happened. Uh, they don't really get why Angel's letting Faith stay. Wesley is especially upset, and he wants to that he that Angel comes up and wants to give Faith donuts. He's like, "Oh, donuts? Any jelly?" And he's like, "Did you develop a sweet fang?" <laughs> um, I mean, she just spent the last like however many hours literally torturing. Wesley, and now Angel's tucking her into bed and bringing her donuts. It's like, right. why Why are we rewarding mm -hmm. the this bad behavior. person who, like, cut and tortured me for hours? What? <laughs> I, I'm, I'm sorry. We need a logic check here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Uh, Wesley storms out, and Cordelia has Angel sign her checks to pay for paid vacation. <laughs> she, just, she does not want to be around this. No. No. <laughs> um, at the apartment where the fight went down the episode before, uh, the cops are investigating. Kate is there collecting evidence. The police are on to Faith and know that uh, most likely it was her that trashed the apartment. The other detective says that uh, Kate has got all scully as she always gets involved with these cases involving anything weird. She rightfully points out that Mulder is the one who wants to believe Scully is the skeptic, and that her problem is that she already believes. <laughs> um, Angel comes back downstairs to see Faith is holding a knife. He asks for it back, and she obliges. It seems like it's just kind of like a subconscious thing she didn't even realize she was doing, yeah. you know, trying to make herself feel safe. Um, at Wolfram and Hart, the three lawyers realize that Faith is bunking with Angel, and they are not pleased. Like, uh, oops. <laughs> yeah. Um, Lee chimes in that they should kill her through a broken jaw. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, we see flashbacks of Faith with Buffy um, from when she killed the mayor. It's, like, very... It's mostly in her head and mostly audio, but we get, like, those flashbacks. Mm -hmm. um, she wants to leave, but Angel won't let her. She asks if she's his prisoner, to which Angel opens the door to let her leave, but she asks where she intends to go. He reminds her about him trying to help her before. He says uh, she thought that she could just touch the darkness, but it ended up swallowing her whole, which I really like as a metaphor for what happened. Um mm -hmm. She punches him, but then asks him to help her. Um, Wesley is at a bar throwing darts when that friggin' Watcher gang show up. Stay in frickin' England. Get yeah. out of here. No one <laughs> I'd forgotten you. that they come up in this half, too. And I was just <laughs> like, oh, I hate these people. <laughs> hey, it's the gang of useless frickin' people. Yep. Uh, they commiserate over the miserly nature of the council, uh, saying that they didn't even pay for a ticket home for Wesley, and they make them ride coach. They offer Wesley a deal. If he's able to give up uh, access to Faith's location, uh, they will re get him reinstated as a watcher. 
Where's was it? I would just like to point out that this will be the third time that the Watchers Council has tried to capture Faith. Yes. The first time it was um what like when this whole initial thing went down right before she mm. went to go work for the mayor. Yep. The second time happened just previously in uh the season four of Buffy. Mm. Um so like just previously in this timeline, but then they ended up capturing Buffy instead in Faith's mm. body. And even Buffy, who was not willing to kill any of them, <laughs> mm -hmm. managed to escape. Right. So this will now be the third time they have attempted to capture this girl. And they're just freaking useless. <laughs> I don't like them. No. Yeah, speaking of, Wesley realizes that they've already been bested by Faith, and that's why they need his help. Um, Angel and Faith have a heart-to-heart -heart that... Uh, no matter how hard she atones for her misdeeds, things may never balance out. Um, she's unsure of how to apologize for Wes to Wesley for what she did. Uh, she's worried that she isn't strong enough to make up for what she's done in general. She doesn't think that she'll ever be able to make things right with Buffy, considering all that Buffy did for her, try believing in her and trying to help, and that uh, in return, she ended up screwing... Uh, Buffy and screwing Riley literally. Uh, Faith didn't know that Angel didn't know about Riley. So it was a very awkward moment there. Uh, she's like, oh god, I'm so sorry. And he's like, see, you can say it. <laughs> <laughs> um, at Wolfram and Hart, they make a deal with a pretty hideous demon with four eyes. Very bug-like and creepy. Um... The Watcher gang offer Wesley a syringe with uh, stuff to knock Faith out with, but he needs assurance that they won't hurt Angel before he goes through with it. The demon is in Angel's health. Uh, Angel is taking a shower um, while the demon faces uh, stalks Faith. Um, it's on the ceiling. As she watches TV, she sees herself on the news. The police are looking for her. It's kind of a funny moment where Angel's like, everything all right out there? And she's like, it was touch and go for the four minutes you left me alone, but I pulled through. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Um, so as she sees this on the news and gets freaked out, the demon attacks. Uh, Faith ends up slaying the demon, but freaks out at the sight of the blood. Angel consoles her, and she hugs him as they're sitting on the bed. And as this is happening... Buffy comes down the steps to see this scene. Uh, she is super not cool with Angel helping Faith, given everything that has happened. Giles heard that Faith went after Angel, uh, and that's why she came to help. So Buffy's an anger with Faith is super justified, given everything that happened in the yeah. other part of this crossover. Yeah. Um, Faith tries to apologize, but it doesn't work. Angel gets in the way. Buffy punches him. He punches her back. Uh, Buffy looks extremely hurt by this. Yeah. Um, Faith runs upstairs and Wesley's there, like during this confrontation. Wolfram and Hart. At Wolfram and Hart, the lawyers find out that the assassin failed its mission. <laughs> They're like the fucking Three Stooges over here. Mm -hmm. Can't do anything right. Um, they decide that they have to work within the law in order to take Faith down. Buffy and Angel have a talk. Buffy is understandably hurt about him taking uh, Faith's side. Wesley comes downstairs, warning Angel about the council's team. Faith runs. Buffy goes to find her. Angel and Wesley check if the sewers are clear, and if they are, they're going to escape through the sewers. Uh, Lindsay tells Kate and Angel... Lindsay tells Kate that Angel is harboring Faith. Buffy confronts Faith on the roof of the building. Um... Faith, uh, Angel said you'd never give me a chance. Buffy, I gave you every chance and you spat on me, which is fair. Yeah. <laughs> uh, she really went out of her way to try to help Faith a lot. Yeah, yeah. Um, even when she first escapes the hospital in the first part of this, she's like not, like, initially she's like, well, maybe, like, we can help Faith, but just not to be. Right. 
Um, the council gang attacks. Buffy and Faith are back on the same page. Like they kind of like instantly once there's like something, they're like okay, like back into being their you know Slayer duo, Synchroni- synchronized slaying. That's what's <laughs> called back in the day. Um, Buffy takes one guy out. Um, downstairs, Angel and Wesley are pinned down by another one of the guys shooting bullets at them. Wesley. This is so fucking cheesy. <laughs> Wesley throws the syringe into the guy's neck like a dart. <laughs> it's, that's um, not how that would work, by the way. No. Just. No. Um, Angel makes it to the roof as the final guy goes to shoot Buffy from a helicopter. Angel jumps up uh, and takes that guy out and tells the helicopter to land. Faith is gone. Um, Angel tells the helicopter pilot to land, like you just said. Uh, right when they do land, uh, Kate and all the officers surround it, and they go to arrest Angel. Uh, back at the police station, Kate tells him that his uh, his cell will face the sunrise. Buffy is understandably very upset about this development. She's like, wait a second, you know what he is? This is murder. Um... Faith is already there, and she says she's ready to make a confession. Buffy and Angel have one more conversation. It's extremely tense. Buffy is upset. Angel tells her that it was uh, to save Faith's soul. They realize that they uh, are on two separate paths, and what they had is officially over. She tells him about Riley. Buffy is what Buffy says. It's not what you and I had. It's very new. You know what makes it new? I trust him. Angel, you moved on. I can't. You found someone new. I'm not allowed to remember. I see you again. It cuts me up inside. And the person I share that with is me. You don't know me anymore, so don't come down here with your great new life and expect me to do things your way. Go home. And Buffy says, see, Faith wins again. Angel tells him to go, tells her to go. Buffy leaves. Uh, Angel punches the wall. Um, Wesley comes in. Uh, after he hits the wall, Wesley thinks that Angel did the right thing, and he s- says he didn't do it. Faith did. As Wesley says, uh, peace is not an easy thing to find, and Angel finishes, but now she has a chance. So that's the end of this two-parter. Jill, what did you think? I hate, I hate, I hate the confrontation between yes. Buffy and Angel. It is out of character for them. Mm. They are not listening to each other. And I, I'm just like, Joss was involved in the writing of this episode. Mm-hmm. Was he on a bathroom break when this was written? <laughs> like, I, oh, it's just, they're not listening to each other. And it's, I get that Angel has the memories from I Will Remember You and Buffy doesn't. Mm-hmm. I get that, okay. In this final confrontation between Buffy and Angel, Buffy comes off like a bitch for no reason. Yeah. I I think I said it, it when we recapped it. When Angel shows up again at the end of season four, I'm very glad that they, like, remedied this. And yes. they have, like, a much better conversation to end things on. Yeah. Because this is tough and not cool at all. Especially where he's, like, you know... Uh, don't come down here with your great new life and expect me to do things your way. It's like, do you remember Pangs, where yeah. you came to her town and didn't even tell her you were there, but were stalking her from the shadows the entire freaking time? Mm-hmm. Excuse me? Please, um, please show me this leg you have to stand on. <laughs> yeah. Because I, I don't understand it. Um, and, like, I feel like the the line where she's like, it's not what you and I had is very new. You know what makes it new? I trust him. Like, okay, that's a deep cut. Mm -hmm. That was unwarranted. Mm -hmm. That was very out of character for Buffy because I don't feel like Buffy and Angel ever specifically say things just to hurt each other without Mm -hmm. a reason behind it. I get that, you know, there was all the stuff that happened that Faith did to Buffy over on the Buffy episodes. Um, I just, I, 
I'm having a hard time putting it into words, but it's just mm -hmm. frustration with the way that Buffy was written mm -hmm. in these episodes. Yeah. Um, and to your point, I am very glad that they brought um, Angel over for kind of one last episode in this kind of crossover mm -hmm. situation um, that they left Buffy and Angel on good terms. Mm -hmm. I kind of wish they could have done that here. <laughs> I do too. Yeah. And and not had people switch back over to another series to see that be resolved. Yeah, I don't know if that was just like a make good. Like they were like, oh, that was a bad way to end. Like this, we need to like fix this. Can we get David over here on this set to film a couple scenes real quick? Well, and that that was the whole like. Uh, that was the episode where, can can I say this on the podcast? It was kind of a dick measuring contest between <laughs> Riley and Angel. Yeah, that was that was definitely what it was. Yeah, um, I, I'm glad they resolved it. I wish they could have done it here and just not written Buffy so badly. Mm. Um, yeah, but I mean, overall, these two episodes, I really do like them. I give it a nine because I I love having again somebody else who's already established in this universe um and bringing them over um the watchers council is dumb uh, i understand why they're there yeah. but they're dumb um yeah. and it's it's nice to have a little bit of semi comic relief and in, in just how baffling idiots they are um it definitely shows how much wesley has grown which is nice mm. um uh yeah so definitely a watch for me um i think it definitely plays a lot into angel's character wesley's character cordelia's mm. character they're just kind of when i when i say they're fun episodes they're not like light-hearted fun episodes but right. it is nice to see kind of that as the universe is expanding yeah i i give it a 10 i really like these episodes i just i'm a sucker for faith I don't know what I can say. <laughs> Have Faith Funko Pop behind me. So, yeah. I, mean, I liked it. All right, Jill. Anything you want to touch on before we get on out of here? Um, If you if you like these episodes as much as we do, uh, please hit us up on Twitter. You can find me at Jillian underscore Swan. That's Swan with two N's. Um, yeah. Go follow her. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at the fake BMR and on Instagram at SuperMarbro. You can follow the uh, start that over. You can follow the channel on Twitter at WG Everything on Instagram at We Can Get Everything on Twitch at twitch.tv slash We Can Get Everything and on TikTok search We Can Get Everything. Tell your friends, tell your enemies, tell everybody about the Sunny Day Review. Leave us a rating on iTunes, leave us a comment on YouTube, and we'll see you in the next one. The Sunnydale Review is a Wicked Good Everything production. Fan art of Buffy was created by Fishbone Art. The logo was created by Tamar Kutab. The original intro and outro song was created by Alex Carl.